In this tutorial, we will take a look at how to grade discussions. I'm in a test course right now, and I'm going to take a look at this Introduce Yourself discussion in our Get Started module. You'll see here we have some replies from students, and I, as the instructor, have replied as well. When you're looking at the discussion posts, you'll notice that some are indented. The ones that are indented are replies to the post above it. So all three of these replies here that also share the same border box as the initial post, those three are all replies to John student's discussion post. You'll see a break here in the boxes that starts a new reply to the original discussion post, and then you'll see a couple of replies to Tracy's post here. And then Derek also replied to the original discussion post, and there's one reply to his post. So that's how you can tell the difference between a reply to the original post and a reply to another student's post. To grade the discussion post, we'll scroll back up to the top of that discussion and click on the cog icon and go to speed grader. A list of students will display here in the top left corner, and we can see the posts made by each student that way. So if we select Tracy, we will see only Tracy's posts here. So we can see that she posted twice to the discussion board. It's usually very easy to tell which reply is to the original discussion assignment and which reply is to another student. The replies to other students are usually more conversational like you see here. Let's go view Derek's post now. He posted to the original assignment and then replied to two students. And then John's student posted one time. He didn't reply to any of his classmates. So to grade these discussions, simply enter the grade here in the box in the right-hand column. Since John posted once but did not reply to any of his classmates, we'll give him three points. And I'm going to put a comment here that he should have replied to his classmates. Okay, we've graded John's. You'll see there's a green check mark here in front of John's name. That means that his assignment has been graded. So let's go back to Tracy now. Tracy replied to the original assignment and replied to one of her classmates. So we'll give her seven out of 10 points. And I'll skip doing a comment on this one, but you'll see now when I click on her name, it has the green check mark saying it's been graded. Derek's has not been graded, that's why you see an orange dot there, so we still need to grade his. Let's take a look at his. He did post once to the original assignment and replied twice, but his replies weren't very substantial, so we're going to give him 9 out of 10. And now we see that all students' posts have been graded. To exit out of SpeedGrader, we're just going to close this tab. And now let's just go check the grade book. I'm clicking on grades and we will make sure that those grades were entered in the grade book. Here's our introduce yourself discussion and of course the grades are displaying properly in the grade book. I'm going to click here to go back to our course. And I want to point out the discussions link here on the left. This link is grayed out, which means students cannot access the link. It's not visible to them but this area can be handy for you as an instructor. You'll see some discussions here in the discussions section in the middle. If you want to close a discussion, which means students can no longer post in that discussion board, you can simply drag and drop that assignment down to closed for comments. You can also subscribe or unsubscribe to discussion posts here. So if this speech bubble icon is green with a white check mark, it means you are subscribed to that discussion or you will get notifications when students post. If the speech bubble icon is blue, it means you are unsubscribed and you are not receiving notifications. All you have to do is click on that icon to change whether you're subscribed or unsubscribed. Here you can also see if a discussion assignment has any replies 
if there was a number in the blue section here, that would indicate any unread replies. So if a student had replied and you had not viewed it yet, it would have the number of unread replies here. And the number in the white box just shows you the total number of replies to that discussion post. This area provides an easy way to find all of the discussions in your course. So when you want to grade a discussion, rather than searching for the discussion in the course modules, you might find it easier to click on the discussions link here on the left and then click on the discussion from this area to do your grading.